Shalom, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to laugh and shake my head at these headlines as they come through real time. Satanic temples, Satan con. We talked about this right in the beginning when they planned it. It's now happening this weekend. In Boston, said to be the largest satanic gathering in history. Are we living in the end times? Are we on the verge of leaving? Is darkness out in the open and in the streets? The largest satanic gathering in history. The Salem-based satanic temple is celebrating its 10th anniversary. There's 10 again, right? 10. 11th Shemitah cycle coming up, disorder, chaos. 10th anniversary with SatanCon 2023 this coming weekend which the organization has billed as their largest satanic gathering in history. Because usually they hid in the dark and they did it where no one could see them. But now evil is celebrated. The event, which is sold out, which tells you a lot already, will be at the Boston Marriott Copley Place and will include satanic rituals. You're not allowed to pray in front of abortion clinics or anywhere near them, like 150 meters or more in your head. Remember that. They can have a Satan con with satanic rituals. No problems. Entertainment, discussion panels, a satanic marketplace. Try and have a biblical or Christian marketplace right now in America or Europe or anywhere in the Western world. See what happens. A satanic wedding chapel, according to their organizers. The satanic temple and its members. <laughs> this is just gold. Don't view Satan as an evil figure. Evil is good, good is bad. But as one who dares to question authority. You see how they're positioning the hero. The group, which opened its headquarters in Salem in 2016, mostly advocates for the separation of church and state, as well as for abortion rights, and is known for attempting to get its one-ton goat-headed idol statue placed next to the Ten Commandments monument on public grounds. They'll put it there for now next to it. They'll probably get that right very shortly. And right after we're gone, when things become more real, by the minute, they'll probably destroy the Ten Commandments statue and just put the goat statue in its place. The theme of the event will be Hexenacht in Boston, German for Witch's Night. Marking the pagan holiday of May Eve, organizers said, promising it will be a weekend of blasphemy and remembrance. I'm living in a world where things like blasphemy and, and satanism and rituals and open worship of the devil is celebrated and good. Everything that is an abomination to God in the Bible is celebrated as brave and awesome. It is a dark time. I can really relate to Lot and Noah and what they must have gone through trying to shine the light in those generations. Founders Lucian Greaves and Malcolm Jerry will hold sessions that include a retrospective on the organization and lectures on topics like reclaiming the trance body. Because their goat god is male and female. So they're reclaiming that evil for themselves. Deconstructing your religious upbringing. I.e. removing any piece of Christ or the Bible or goodness from your life. Satanism and the BIPOC experience. Do you know what? There are Christians there that are praying against it and standing against it in spiritual warfare. We'll probably have news stories next week about how many were arrested and carted away because these poor Satanists felt threatened in their freedom of speech. While we can't pray in our heads on the streets or be locked up. Evil, good, good, evil. End times. Final week. History wrapping up. I cannot wait to meet my Savior, and I honestly cannot wait to come back and see him set everything straight seven years later. It's going to be glorious. God bless. Keep hanging in there. Keep looking up and keep listening for that angel that by now has probably finally finished the manual on how to blow the trumpet. Yeah, you. I'm looking at you.
Have a great day. Shalom.